Hi, Laurie here. Today I'm doing a collab with the wonderful and talented Angie from 4F Beauty. And we are going to do one of her photo inspired series looks. And that's where you choose a picture and do a look inspired by that. And she very kindly said, do you want to choose a picture? And I said, do you want to do one of my paintings? And she said, I was hoping you'd say that, <laughs> so that was really nice. So that's what we are doing. And the painting we are doing is this one here. If I can, I might have to go back because I'm in I'm frame. Can you see it all now? So this is my painting called Morning Light in CHB, which this is actually a painting inspired by the view outside my bedroom window every morning because we see the sunrise every morning. So it may look like this has got a lot of black in it, but actually there is no black in this painting. It is actually a really, really dark, dark blue. So you can see close up that that is dark blues and dark purples, not black. Then you've got some light blues. And you've got your oranges and a bit of red and yellow and a bit of that, hang on, which way am I going this way? Over, over here, a bit of that sort of plummy purple colour. So I got out my eyeshadow palettes to have a look and see what have I got that kind of mimics some of those colours. So let's have a look. So the easiest colour I thought to start with would be the blue and I decided to go with Moonlight from the Colourpop Blue Moon palette. So that's what I went with and then after that I decided on some purple colours. So I decided on this purple here, which how am I gonna do that so you can see? Which kind of goes with the kind of purple clouds. which is from the Rimmel Magnifying Eyes Electric Violet palette. And I also got this dark, dark blue one here. It's kind of a dark gray blue. And I got that one to go with these sort of background, really dark colors. that one up a little bit and then I thought I want this kind of purpley ready purple color so I went into the revolution forever flawless constellation palette and I got retrograde here, Just clean my fingers. So that kind of colour there, which I thought would go well with some of those purpley kind of colours in there. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> that, that is quite an awkward angle. <laughs> And then I thought, well, you need the, the yellows and the reds and the oranges. So for the red, I went for the Colourpop Main Squeeze palette and I went for Like It Hot for that bright red. Which is 
this kind of bright red in here. If, I'm not really flipping you off there. <laughs> I'm just being really awkward. <laughs> the orange I'm going to go into the orange you glad Colourpop palette and get this rise and grind I won't do that swatch on my red finger so this one here so that goes with another awkward Pose these these orangey colours over here, and then I decided we needed some yellow, so I went in with the Aha Honey palette and went into Sweet Spot, bright bright yellow, which goes with this yellow in here. And if I want a if I want a brighter yellow, like in the the middle of the picture, then I'm going into the Eye Heart Revolution Mermaid Heart in this colour here. So nice clean finger. So for right in the middle. And then I realised they were all mattes. So I, I ended up with all mattes there. So I thought, well, I'm not going to want all mattes. I'm going to want something for a pop of glitter or something. So I got out um, my TT glitter eyeliner can see the sparkles in there. It's kind of a whitey eyeliner but it's got different coloured sparkles or I could go with the gold from Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Soap or I could go with the Focal Law Platinum which is a gold silver. So I haven't decided exactly which one or I could even go into some of the prismatic colours from the BYS palette, these kind of goldy yellows but we will see as I build it. And I also thought the Colourpop liner in France, this pale blue, would go well. So also got a darker blue liner. <laughs> Let me just pick that up. So I've also got a darker blue liner as well. So I thought all those colours fitted in with the painting. Can you see? Really? I should have done the swatches around the other way, probably. But there's my colours, there's my painting. There's my awkward self. <laughs> so now I just have to decide which colours I'm going to use and what the look's going to look like. I have a very vague idea in my mind. So I've done my brows and I have put on my base. It's all dried down. I haven't powdered it though. What do I want to start with? So you can look at the painting behind me as I try and figure out a look. So I've been following Angie for a while. And I'm pretty sure I found Angie through Anya Stamper. I can't guarantee it, but I think I did. 
and I've been wanting to collab with her for a while and we have done some great collabs together but we've never actually collabed one on one so I was really happy when she suggested it because um, sometimes I'm really good at saying oh do you want to collab with me and other times I get kind of shy and, <laughs> and don't ask. <laughs> I think I'm going to start in a really weird order because I know what I want to do down the bottom in for the eyeliner but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do above so this could all go horribly wrong but I'm going to anyway. So I'm going to actually start with the liner. I'm going to start with a little tiny brush. This is actually a paintbrush and it's a triple zero. And this liner from Colourpop I find is a little bit stiff when you're trying to use it. It's not as creamy as it could be for drawing lines with. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of my and clot draw a line in it just so I can make it a little bit runnier and easier to use. And I'm just gonna get a nice point on my brush. This is what I'd, if I was using a paint palette and I was painting, this is exactly what I would do with my paintbrush to get it to a nice point and have color on it. I'm just rolling it. So I wouldn't do it on the back of my hand, I'd do it on my palette. <laughs> so I'm going to do this first, and this is for like the, the river part of the painting. And because I'm old and my eyes are saggy, if I just look straight ahead, or you know, straight on. I'm trying to look straight on in my mirror, but I'm kind of looking down a bit. And just put my line in, and then I can see where it's skipping, so I can join it up. So look how big that line is compared to when I just have my eyes relaxed. <laughs> Yeah, I made it curvy. Uh -oh. <laughs> that wasn't the plan. Another good reason to do my eyeliner first. So that when I muck it up, I can redo it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Now in this photo inspired collab, the rules are you can use any colour that is in the painting but you can't use anything that's not in the painting. Well, the painting that I did has got nearly every colour in it, in, a, in some kind of shade or form. So uh, that was um, an interesting, <laughs> it, it'll be interesting. It'll be, I think it'll be more paring it down to the colour story that we want and still get the flavour of the painting. Okay, I think that's as close as I'm going to get. And I couldn't talk about anything while I was doing that because I had to concentrate. <laughs> so that's is what we're going with so far. And then the next thing I want to do, I think, I'm gonna go in with my pencil and puppy. Oop, what's going on with this? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Alright, yeah, now it's behaving itself. <laughs> now that it's all broken inside. <laughs> but, uh, I'll probably have to redo the waterline afterwards, but I'm just kind of getting an idea of what I'm doing. And then I want to go in with my Rimmel liner. So far I haven't used any eyeshadow, I haven't even used an outliner. <laughs> um, the liner's going a bit gloopy. It's cracking that pale blue liner. Oops. 
And you're probably thinking, what on earth is she doing? I can't tell you because I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So I usually do liquid liner on the bottom. Here we go. <laughs> now I'm looking really crazy. So it would help if I had more of an idea of exactly where I'm going with this, but I don't. Okay, I'm gonna go into an eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm gonna go into retrograde. And I think it's going to require a lot of small brushes. I don't think that's quite in the right place. We will fix that later. I'm going to go into this colour here from the Electroviolet Rimmel palette, which is not applying to my eyes at all. <laughs> okay, plan B. I think I'm going to go in with this one, which was this dark blue one here. I'm going to go in to, this is requiring a lot of thinking, Angie. <laughs> I'm going to go into this light colour here. I'm all over the place because I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to get an idea of where I want to put stuff. And then I'm going to go into the orange palette and get the orange that I got, which was that one there. So I just used that one, which you can't see because it's rubbed off now. But I'm going to get this one here. I am. Um, <laughs> can you tell I, I, I didn't practice anything first? So I'm going to get into this one, which is the Rise and Grind. Now, just like when I was painting. I don't want that orange and purple to mix. So once I figure out what I'm doing, I'll come back and tidy things up. And then I'm going to go into the main squeeze palette and get the red that I chose. The red there, which is like it's hot. I'm going to put that there the purple and the orange which is basically what I did in the painting because it's just my color instinct saying you don't want to mix the orange and the purple but it's okay if the red and the purple mix and then I'm going to go into the Aha uh -huh Honey palette and get the yellow which was that one there get sweet spot and I'm going to put that in here. I'm kind of getting an idea of what I want to do. I think I'll go into the Mermaid Heart one again and get that light colour on a little fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that in there. I don't want to um, put any blue up there. <laughs> the blue will just have to be down here. And I want to go back into the orange and just intensify that a bit. This is what you call doing your makeup like a work of art. <laughs> so that's basically what I'm after. So I'm going to play around and finesse that a bit. And why I do that, I will talk about Angie. So Angie is a very lovely person and she's also very vibrant but also very lively and she's got a wicked sense of humour. And she does lots of collabs and her photos inspired series. I'm pretty sure 
I heard her say she wasn't actually, she didn't actually realise it was going to end up a big long series like this, but it's been really great for her. And it's been really great doing this particular one with her because um, I got to play with lots of different colours <laughs> and um, lots of different palettes. And Angie is not afraid to mix up palettes, and but she also does looks with all one palettes and does great palette reviews and shows you how they work on her eyes and is very honest about what she thinks of the formula and, and how the colour works and things. And she does long videos because she shows all the steps, so no matter what stage of doing your makeup you're at, as in what stage of learning you're at, you can pick up tips and tricks on how to do things from her. And she's a lovely, soft-spoken lady to listen to. And I really admire her. She goes through a lot in her daily life, but she still gets up and has a sense of humour and does gorgeous makeup looks and is there whenever you need to read up. <laughs> so, love you Angie, and thank you so much for asking me to collab with you. So I'll leave all her details down below in the description box so you can go and follow Angie and I will put her up in the cards as well so that you can easily find her channel. So that's what we've got so far and I'm going to go in with the platinum one I think. And I just want to put a little bit there. I've got way more on one side than the other. what I wanted? I don't know. Gonna go in with the liquid catsuit one from Wet One. And, and why not just go in with the other one as well? The one from Chi Chi, which is called Stardust. Put it right in the middle. I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back. Okay, now I'm going to go back into this Rimmel palette, the electric violet one, and I want to go into this dark, dark, dark blue. And I'm using a Wet n Wild Smudger Brush. So I've just mixed some of the that yellow that I used in with some dry lime, and I want to do some little dots. And I'm going to do the same with some orange. So I'm going to do my mascara. So that's what we, where we're at so far and we're just about there and I think I want a bit more of a inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to go into sunburst here since pale yellow is part of the picture. Yeah, I just wanted something, something in the inner corner. And now I just need a lipstick, so I've got to figure out what colour to put on, because the eyes are pretty busy. And there is my final look. So for my lipstick, I actually had to mix two because I didn't have the right colour. So I used the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Simone, or Simone. And I used the Maybelline Molten Bronze. And I mix those two together on my lips to make a kind of a plummy burgundy. Goes with my jersey and goes with that purpley colour there. So there is my look doing my painting inspired look with Angie from 4F.
beauty. So please go and check out Angie. She's such a sweetheart and you will learn lots from her and get very um, motivated with different colour schemes and things. And thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye.